As a video editor, you know the value of having a variety of presets and styles at your disposal. This can help speed up your workflow and give your projects a unique and professional touch. But if you're like many editors, you may have found yourself scouring the internet for preset packs or styles that your favorite editors have used before. While these can be very helpful, they can also be expensive. But what if I told you you can create your own presets and save yourself the cost? That's right, with a little bit of knowledge and some practice, you can create your own custom presets for Premiere Pro. Here's how. Know how to keyframe or create a style. Before you can create your own presets, you need to know how to keyframe or create a specific style. Keyframing is the process of adding specific points to a clip and adjusting the values of those points over time. This allows you to create all sorts of effects like zoom in, zoom out, color change, or even as simple as a fade in or fade out. For example, let's say you want to create a quick zoom in effect. First, select the clip you want to apply the effect to and go to the effects panel right over here. From here, you can choose the transform effect and adjust the scale value over time using keyframes. To create a keyframe, simply click the stopwatch icon. This will add a keyframe at the current time code. Then move to a different point in the timeline and adjust the value again. Now Premiere Pro creates a smooth curve between the two keyframes, creating a seamless transition. Now that you've created your desired effect or style, it's time to save it as a preset. To do this, simply highlight the clips or effects you want to include in your preset. You're gonna right click and just click save as preset. Give your preset a name and choose whether you wanna save it as a scale, anchor in or out. So what do these options mean exactly? Scale will stretch the timing of the preset to match the same percentage of the next clip you choose to add it to. This is useful if you wanted to add the same effects to a series of clips that are different lengths. Anchor in will ensure that the preset starts at the beginning of the clip and keeps the same timing as the original effect. Anchor out does the same thing, but at the end of the clip. Now that we've saved our clip, we can potentially add it to anywhere else. So for example, we know that this first section has one. I normally do a little warm up. But we also want to add it, let's say right here, middle of this next clip. Let's watch it first. Yeah, just get the body moving. And you see how it doesn't really do anything, but we want to add that same effect. Instead of me copying from this, we can just go to the preset that I save, zoom in test. And now when I watch it again, I just get the body moving, the body warm. It does our effect for us. How to save and export the presets. Once you created and saved your preset, it's important to know how to access and use it. To do this, simply go to the effects panel and search for your preset using the search bar. You can also find your preset by going to the effects menu and selecting presets. And we're gonna right click and we're gonna say export presets. All right, and now we're gonna put it in our test file and we're gonna name this test preset save and now if we pull up our test preset folder if you're sharing this preset with a friend all they have to do is download it they'll have this and they just need to import it if you guys need to know how to import presets just let me know and we'll go over that as well and there you have it with these simple steps you can create your own custom presets within premiere pro and it will help speed up your workflow Speaking of speeding up your workflow, if you want to watch a quick two minute video on how to edit 10 times faster, go ahead and watch this video right here.